Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Carrier Battles 4 Guadalcanal. This game is available currently on Steam. So let's get into it here. We'll start a new game up. And we will do the scenario The Revenge Raids. Revenge, Revenge Raids, February to March 1942. The first counterattacks of the U.S. fleet in the area against Rabwal against the Japanese expansion in New Guinea, especially the landing at Ley. All right, we'll, we'll be playing against the Japanese as the US. And it looks like those were some Japanese zeros there on the tarmac. All right, once US carrier or carrier aircraft have been involved in any battle, all US task force must retreat towards Coral Sea or South Pacific retreat hexes are marked with white stars in their center. The VP awarded for TRS losses is higher than usual. Close and attempt a surprise attack against Rabwal, then strike the Japanese invasion force at Lei. Three days. All right, so there's the scenario right there. Let's get to the tactical map. And it looks like we have two, we have three task force forces, two that are very close here. So these are two heavy cruisers, three heavy cruisers, a light cruiser, and two light cruisers and a destroyer with a carrier, uh, two heavy cruisers and six destroyers. And this is the carrier Yorktown here. If I left click on Yorktown, we can see what we have in the hangar. It looks like we have four of these uh, fighters here. F4F. I'm not sure what type of fighters they are. And then we have nine dive bombers. And three torpedo bombers. So this would be against other naval vessels, and the dive bombers could have different uses. Um, but the torpedo bombers would definitely be against uh, enemy carriers or other um, naval vessels, whereas the dive bombers could be used against naval vessels or land vessels. More, That's probably why there's more in the hangar. And then the fighters are obviously for defense. And it looks like Lexington is the other carrier that we have here. And they have very similar amounts of airplanes. Okay, keep your TRS and CV far away from enemy surface task force. All right, I'm not sure what those are. <laughs> so I only have like about two hours of game time under my belt with this. So please bear with me. And it looks like we're going over here against Rabal, and we're trying to do a sneak attack. So I'll start off by moving my task force here. And they all kind of move one at a time. Doesn't look like anyone got to move there. Okay, and now I'd like to send up some scouting planes. So let's go to the conduct air missions screen here. And we're going to move units one by one. And I don't think the fighters can conduct search missions. But let's go ahead up with the torpedo bombers. Since we're far away from land bases. And we're more worried about um, naval combatants at this point. 
So I'm just putting these up one at a time. So there'll be one torpedo bomber that will be doing a 360 degree hex and one that will be faced. It looks like uh, it'll be able to go 10 degree, 10 hexes at 180 degrees. And if I left click on it, it kind of tells you what direction we're going in to the southwest. So that looks like it's fine. We also have air bases here. And it looks like Townsville and Port Moresby has some strategic bomber uh, looking planes there. So I might want to try to coordinate my attack with them. sure where Port Moresby is. Okay, so that's over in New Guinea. Let's see if we can't scout out um, Rabaul and see if we can't get planes over there as our carrier task force gets uh, in that direction. And I'm assuming these yellow... Um, hexes here that's my planes going out on that search mission and one of them one of the search missions launched and we're just waiting for the other one to launch and then as you can see more planes are launching I'm trying to keep these guys in a tight formation here And it looks like you can do uh, more finer movements and detach some of these uh, different um, naval vessels from the task force. Alright, enemy scout spotted over Task Force 11. I think Task Force 11 is usually um, Lexington. Enemy scout spotted, okay. So it's going down up here, and our uh, forces are not combined. Let's see what we can do with Port Moresby. So I'm going to left click and drag them onto a strike. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anyone in range for them to do a strike. Let's take that off. If I put them on the deck or runway, I can change out their ordnance to different types of bombs and things like that. So transfer or bombs. So we can transfer them to another area or add bombs. So not sure if we need to add bombs or not. Let's see if these guys have targets. It doesn't look like it. It's kind of nice that it tells you if it has targets that are available or not. So old Task Force 11 here. So let's... Uh, we still have the searches out, and they haven't spotted anything. Let's see if they have anything that they could hit. It doesn't look like it. Okay. So now that they've been spotted, I think that this is going to be my priority here. And this is our target here in Rabwal. That enemy scout is still on our back. Can't move them. So I think real soon they're going to be on us. And we are consistently seeing that enemy scout. It looks like our scout planes are coming back right now.
put up one fighter for defense purposes. And then it looks to me like the enemies will probably be coming from... We'll just guess that it's from this direction over here. What do I have this set to? I think these guys are in the air. It's not going to allow me to uh, mess with it. Still trying to figure out how to get this guy back in the hangar. All right. Oh, we got contacts. Wow, that, that came in quick. A Japanese airstrike has been detected. All right. So 20 to 40 minutes. Let's get everything up we can to defend. And we don't have that much time, so let's see if I can get these six fighters up. And I just want, I'm curious if we're able to do a strike. It doesn't look like it. Air unit's about to land, okay. Okay, they're on us. So we still have 20 minutes. We'll see if we can get any of these guys up. We might as well try to get up as many as we can. And it looks to me like um, these dive bombers are able to defend as well. We'll go with just that amount. It says it will take 60 minutes, and one turn is an hour and 20 minutes. So let's hope that that is the right recipe here, because we're going to about to have uh, air to naval combat here, 100%. And they kind of caught us at a bad time. Okay, so we have, it looks like, one fighter up. So the fighter that I deployed before the scouts came back. And it was interesting, because as the search planes went out and then came back, their attack was right after it. So the timing appears to really be important here. Uh, this one lone fighter, I don't know if it's going to do that much. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Attacking planes must first go through the fleet defenses. Cap is combat air patrol and the heavy AA guns. So we have one lone fighter against five of these uh, attack bombers. There's our fighter. Yeah, we got a hit. All right. And these bombers most likely all have torpedoes, so. Planes attack if they have survived the cap and heavy AA fire after bombing the plane still suffer revenge fire from light AA guns and fighters. Okay. Okay, they're coming down on the carrier, it looks like. And the carriers were prioritized as a target in uh, World War II. It looks like they missed. End of battle. Okay, so this was quite favorable. They lost two of their bombers, and I keep my fighter and my carrier. All right. I'm happy with that. Uh, the other battles that I've had have not gone well at all. That was actually a victory. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, what do we got here? Enemy fighters, enemy AA. The surprise effect has been lost. U.S. task force must retreat towards hexes marked with the white star. The white star, the coral sea. Okay. I see what's going on. So they've been alerted to the enemy task forces have been alerted to our presence. So we have to book it out of there and um, we've got to go to the white star, um, which I'm not sure where that is. 
but that but we're going to end the video here uh so this is carrier battles for guadalcanal and uh that gives you a little feel for the gameplay this video was just a first look video i believe the game came out yesterday june 3rd if i'm not mistaken it's available on steam it is put out by avalon hill so please check that out if you're really into uh this carrier style of battle in the um pacific theater of world war ii i would suggest that you uh, check this game out it really delves deep into the mechanics of how carrier fleets operated and you saw there how the timing of what planes were up when how many planes where you sent them out all uh plays a factor in these battles and is so important in these battles which direction did you have the spotter planes go out how many fighters did you put up who's returning who's going things like that so it is it's a very interesting game uh, with a lot of replayability um, for this scenario I don't know maybe more uh, spotter planes putting more spotter planes up may have helped we kind of already have a recon that we know that the air bases are, are up here by um, Rabwal and I don't know if there's carrier forces in the area but these clouds do cover uh, the enemy uh, naval vessels so that your spotting planes don't see them as well so there's a possibility of naval combat as well so I hope that you enjoyed this video guys please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content and I'll see you on the next one